But first, I return. I'm definitely doing everything to keep the Torah, to return to God. Then God will come back to me. But this is really what we have to do this month. So this month is Shubu Elai Va Shubu Alechem. Now let us see, and here better to see, you can see myself singing and my son playing this song which I composed a while ago. Well, it is the first one, it's already a long time ago. In the Eat Parade, which is called like uh, in religious songs. And let us hear now this song, as we said, singing myself and my son, and my son is playing, my son Yaakov Baruch. So, Let us see through the song in Hebrew and also in English. I compose and this is asking for really everybody to return back to the God, to come back to God and to come back to us. And we need it very, very much now. I said amazingly is that the idea of repentance now we have in the Sabbath of repentance. See, this is the name of the Sabbath as we read in the Bible, the famous prophecy, when God says, Shuba Yisrael at Hashem Elakecha, Ki Kashata Babonecha, come back to the Jewish people, to your God, could you stumble in your sins? Then, afterwards, very nice verses about redemption of Messiah. So, let us hope that this will be, and then we'll really, will enjoy proper happy life. I said, it cannot be coincidence, exactly this Sabbath, is the climax of the Florence, Hurricane Florence. Amazing, two years ago when I did also a table about the Sabbath of repentance, it was exactly the Sabbath when it was the climax of the very big hurricane in Florida. So one remember, it was a very, very strong one, you know, many others were destroyed. Not simple at all, it was exactly, also Shabbat Shiva. So as I said, 
very likely God wants us to, re- to repent, to return, as Zephania says, the prophet Zephania says, Ikhrati goim, you saw what I brought in my YouTube about the Oricon followers. Those verses of Zephania, I destroyed towers, towns, tsunamis, earthquakes, floods, I hope that you will change your way. The Krimusa will take really away, we understand, repent, but as the verse carries on and says, <laughs> unfortunately, they did not. They carry on with their corruption, transgressing the Torah, doing terrible things, which was the flood, homosexualism, all the sexual matter which brought to the flood in the past. Nothing, not changed. So God said, No, I waited for you, and you did not change. Achem Chakuli, this is a continuation of verse. Then is the description of Gog and Magog, of wars, frightening wars, yes, one can see in this verse in Zephania 8, and clear description of the wars in the end of time. And this is a verse with 26 verses, like the Gematria of God name, and with all the letters of the alphabet, 27 letters, 22 ordinary and fine, never was, there is not such a, another verse in the old Bible. And later on is written, the world will realize the greatness of the holy tongue, then afterwards, that they will realize the world, the four halamim, Safavura, will turn their language into the real one. They will realize the importance of the holy tongue. There are a lot of books about this. One can get the books when you part gladersonbooks.com. It's Amazon, all of selling my books. But one should know. The greatness of the Hebrew language this is written clearly. The Sephan is in the end of days. And this will bring the people to believe in one God and to serve him. So let us really hope that this is what will happen. People will do tshuva and will return to God and really as you say it. Oh